Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. This is my third video on React.js. In this video, we are going to learn what is rendering, why we do rendering in React, what are the requirement for doing rendering. Because of that, we can understand whole scenario of React. First of all, just to understand with the help of this example, we have two types of DOM. If you are a JavaScript programmer, then you know what is DOM. In HTML also, in JavaScript also, we have a DOM in which Windows is the root element, or root, you can say component, and then we have a your navigator, documents, form, all the components, button, text field, all these are components those come under the root of windows similarly uh, you imagine that this dom is a html dom and this is your virtual react dom so react maintain their own virtual dom in memory and it make modification in their virtual dom and do not modify the actual dom of javascript when we have some event or we want to change the state of a real dom then it do the process of rendering remember that rendering means the difference between these two dom so it make some event and it do some process by which it analyze that there's some change in the real dom and a virtual dom the process of making a synchronization between virtual dom and a real dom that process is called rendering and remember that the rendering each and every component having a root component that means we have a single root component we do not have a multiple root components because it's a tree like structure hierarchical structure that we have to understand for rendering if we understand it then we can go for the practical so remember that we have a two dom first one is javascript actual real uh, dom second one is a virtual dom that generate by the react in its memory so the process of making a synchronization between virtual dom to the real dom is, is process is called rendering that's why we use here in our coding a render function if you see in index.js we have this render function this fun render function do rendering to make a synchronization between real and the virtual dom now in this we have the restrict mode we have enabled and we are using a app component Remember that this app is a component and that's why we have a root, the single one component here and you see the output here, I have output also. If I try to make two component here like this and I save it and I try to run it, you see I am also able to perform this component because multiple time I can use this component because I have a root component here remember and you see this uh, we have a HTML file in public directory index.html here we have a root element so this root element is like a root element here in virtual component because all component come under this so the root is a single component under that we have multiple components this is the process of making a virtual DOM now I use this app two time remember that in this application I am removing one first I save it now I go to app.js here I have a div tag so I comment this right now and I try to make you understand the concept of rendering here if we have this you see this bracket that means the multiple line we can enter or if we do not have this so what can I do I, I can have return and here I can pass here I can pass stm h1 tag and here I can write welcome to doctor weapon classes like this save it and you see we have the output like this but we do not have in a center because 
we are not using any class right now so this return is returning a this a single single component single element so if i return a number of time 2 h1 remember that 2 h1 i am returning here i say hello react now we have an error you see we have an error why because it is jsx javascript javascript xml so we can't return more than one root element remember that we can't return more than one root element only one element can be returned then if i want to return two h1 so what i have to do i have to first of all create a div tag and i have to close this div tag after this here like this then it is possible to return remember so this rendering process what do it check here the return value and check the root element and according to this this value come here and the react make a mapping between the virtual and a real dom and it put the output on a html page on a web page so this way we can do so just i delete it and if multiple line i want to then i need this brackets for multiple line we may have and we can make we can uncomment this here you see that this is this is the dev tag and we have a class here also so with the help of this class we have a root element dev it return one element and under this we have a multiple element we may have a multiple element and i save it and automatically i will have the result in the center so i am putting a result here and remember it look like a real html but it is not a html it is java script xml what is this we will understand in next video what are the other alternative to do this kind of coding in react if you don't want to use jsx <coughs> so first of all we have to understand the rendering process so we understand that we have a virtual dom and real dom in react the process of making a synchronization between virtual and a real dom is called rendering so whenever we have a component and these component we just parse and we pass here in a root component in app and under the root here so they make the rendering means they make a synchronization between the virtual and a real dom the responsibility of this is given to this function so this function is must to use in react otherwise we would not be able to make a react application so with the help of this because in other languages also we have a main method and we start the coding from there similarly we have here render method and from this we are doing our coding and the responsibility of making a synchronization between real and virtual dom is based on this root tag and this under this root tag we have a render function so with the help of this we can do this so here we understand what is rendering in next video we will understand this what is jsx means javascript xml because but it is look like a html so what is the difference between these two and what are the other alternative uh, instead of uh, jsx in react and why we use uh, jsx what are the you can say the advantages to use this so we will understand in next video and after that we will also understand that to uh, you can see the multi rendering a multiple elements in or react so that's all in this video i think you learn something from this video if you really learn anything from this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video